we're living in a society where speed and convenience trumps everything else, this aspect can be seen in the way we consume entertainment, how we communicate, and even how we purchase food. The same need for speed and comfort can be seen in the way we travel. We have the option of flying across the globe in a matter of a few hours. But things have gotten mighty fast under the ground as well. Trains have become incredibly fast in recent years, and it's only going to get better. Here are 12 of the most impressive railway mega projects in the world, which you need to see. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Number 12. California High Speed Rail, USA California has had a huge influx of people over the years. With the booming Silicon Valley attracting many, the population is expected to increase from 38 million to 60 by 2030. This increase has put an enormous strain on the state's infrastructure, especially transportation. So, to fix this issue, the California High Speed Rail is being constructed. Estimated to cost $68 billion, the publicly funded high-speed rail system will first connect the San Francisco Bay Area with Los Angeles and later work on extensions to Sacramento and San Diego. The rail line will be an impressive 800 miles that will include 24 stations. The Phase 1 is supposed to be completed by 2033, while Phase 2, which connects Sacramento and San Diego, is still in the planning stages. One of the main projects under this system is the high-speed line connecting San Francisco with Los Angeles. This service is expected to average 170 miles per hour during a 450-mile trip, making it the second-fastest average-speed run train in the world after the 174-mile-per-hour TGV Est Paris to Champagne Express. The California High-Speed Rail is an ambitious project which aims to reduce accident rates and is projected to reduce congestion costs coming up to $20 billion each year. Sounds like this project could make life a whole lot easier for people in the state of California. Number 11. Chua Shinkansen, Japan Fast trains have always been a cultural icon of Japan more than just an engineering feat. Known for introducing the bullet trains, or the Shinkansen, to the world, Japan has always been pushing the boundaries of engineering in a drive to make their trains even faster. The Chua Shinkansen is the latest in their undertaking of building the world's fastest train, with an expected launch in 2027. The new rail line will extend its railway network by another 178 miles and will be using the maglev system, a train transportation system which relies on two magnets to move the carriages. This new line will initially connect Tokyo to Nagoya and will later be extended to Osaka. With an estimated speed of 311 miles an hour, passengers can clear the 178-mile track in just 40 minutes. This Chuo line will be running their latest train model called the LO series, which currently holds the world record for the fastest manned train. A lot of the Chuo line will be passing under the Japanese Alps, which explains the massive $85 billion project cost. Impressive engineering doesn't come cheap. Number 10. Crossrail London Central London is getting its own upgrades within its railway system. The Crossrail is a capacity enhancement rail project which will lay down a 118km rail track from Maidenhead and Heathrow in the west to Shenfield and Abbey Wood in the east. It'll allow an estimated 1.5 million people to travel between London's key business areas in just 45 minutes. The Crossrail has been branded as the Elizabeth Line in honour of the Queen and will cost an estimated £18.7 billion as of August 2020. It was initially planned to be opened by 2018, but has since been delayed multiple times. The pandemic has pushed the date further due to work restrictions and reduction of construction workers on site. The Crossrail project was first approved back in 2007, with its construction starting in 2009 on the central section and connections to existing lines in central London. The fleet under the Crossrail project will feature energy-efficient, purpose-built and high-performance trains using overhead lines and third rail systems. The project will be capable of delivering a train in the central London area every two minutes. This is an impressive feat of human engineering and science. Number 9. Hyderabad Metro Rail, India India is making headways in the world of railway transportation. The latest in line is the Hyderabad Metro, which is a rapid transit system being implemented in Hyderabad in South India. It's the second longest operational metro network in the country after the Delhi Metro and consists of 57 stations. The project is estimated to cost $2.6 billion and as of Feb 2020, an estimated 490,000 travel on it every single day. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the 30-kilometer line in 2017. As Phase 2 is under works, it'll extend the metro rail even further. The extension plan will increase the range by another 62 kilometers and will be solely funded by the Indian government, unlike Phase 1, which was public-private partnership. If Phase 1 is seeing a daily intake of 490,000 passengers, then Phase 2 is probably going to be a worthwhile investment. Number 8. Sydney Metro Australia Australia for a very long time didn't have a rapid transit system in any of its cities. It's surprising, but the Sydney Metro was a game-changer after it came into service in 2019. Though there is only one line currently operating, it'll enhance the network in New South Wales. The line has an operating capacity of 40,000 passengers per hour and will make commuting easier between the residential and commercial areas. Later phases will cover the central business district area via the City and South West Line. The North West Line will also include a SkyTrain which will run on 4 kilometers of elevated tracks. This project is estimated to cost £7.3 billion and will run a length of 66 kilometers with 31 stations operating within it. Finally, the land down under has entered the league of rapid transit transportation. Number 7. Jakarta Mass Rapid Rail Transport, Indonesia Another country which is in dire need of an updated transportation system is Indonesia. A country with 10 million inhabitants squeezed into tiny islands, it's one of the most overpopulated countries on the planet, so the introduction of the Jakarta Mass Rapid Transit System in 2019 was a much-needed relief for its citizens. The project is using Japanese trains, which increased focus on capacity over technical innovation and aesthetics. The tunnels are buffered with a layer of clay, which will make them more resistant against the frequent earthquakes that ravage the island nation. The JMRT is capable of transporting 193,000 people per day and covers a length of 110.3 kilometers. The whole project is estimated to be completed by 2027 and cost 1.8 billion pounds. People of Jakarta have a better and more convenient way of getting to places thanks to the JMRT. Number 6. Honolulu Rail Transit, Hawaii Island life isn't as easy as people think it to be. Hawaii, for example, has a problem with overpopulation, especially the major cities, which is leading to a lot of congestion on the roads. The Honolulu High Capacity Transit Corridor project was designed to ease this burden in Hawaii. The 20-mile elevated track connects West Oahu with downtown Honolulu and Ala Moana Center. The project cost $5.28 billion and has a carrying capacity of 119,600 per week. The rail system was first conceived way back in 1996, but was delayed multiple times because of concerns of additional tax burdens and over-budget, but it finally came to life with Phase 1 scheduled to operate by late 2021. The project also took into account the beauty of the city and neighboring areas, and incorporated this into the route to make the entire journey a lot more visually pleasing for the passengers than just a regular commute. Another cool addition is how each of the 21 stations on the route will be furnished with local flora and art installations to promote the regional cultures as well as heritage. Sounds like a rail line worth checking out. Number 5. Delhi NCR Regional Rapid Transit System, India India suffers a similar problem to Indonesia and that is overcrowding. With over 1.3 billion people around, it gets harder to get around, especially if there isn't a good rapid transit system in place. New Delhi, the capital of the nation, boasts its own impressive metro system, but the surrounding areas of the capital, which comes under something called the National Capital Region, or NCR, is home to over 60 million residents. The same convenience and comfort which Delhi Metro provides its residents is long overdue for the people of these regions. A rapid transit system for the NCR is the next logical development and is in the works. It's slated to open by 2024 and will cover an impressive 700 kilometers with 59 stations. The total cost of the project is estimated to be 4.5 billion pounds and will connect with existing networks in the area, including the Delhi Metro. Though the system won't have technological innovation as its focus, it will, however, focus on capacity, commute time and environmental benefits over everything else. Number 4. Hyperloop Hyperloop is not rail travel per se, but it is the future and is worth mentioning here. The interest for Hyperloop as a mode of transportation has become a very popular topic in recent years. It uses a magnetic levitation and a vacuum pump system which propels passengers inside a pod through a tube to speeds of over 700 miles per hour. 
In July of 2020, the US Department of Transportation released a guidance document which sets regulations when it comes to Hyperloop transportation. As of now, there are various players who are trying their hand with this new mode of transport, including Richard Branson, who started Virgin Hyperloop back in 2014. They've been testing their systems in something called the DevLoop on a desert outside of Las Vegas. They've been successful in pushing a passenger pod through a steel tube from 0 to 240 miles per hour and back to zero without any trouble. The whole idea of Hyperloop travel started with Elon Musk suggesting it as a new form of transportation way back in 2012. Since then, it's caused a stir and prompted many companies globally to independently develop their own versions of the Hyperloop system. This is the future of traveling. Number 3. Floating Train – China Similar to the Chua Shinkansen, China has their own version of the Maglev high-speed train which is capable of touching 620 km per hour. The train has no wheels and will instead be levitating using high-temperature superconducting or HTS technology, which will allow it to travel frictionless and at high speeds. The train is essentially floating on its tracks and can be seen gliding across them. A 69-foot prototype was seen recently revealed in Chengdu, and local news reported that the superconductor technology used in the train could make it a whole lot faster than its peers. This model is designed to travel at an impressive speed of 620 km an hour, and engineers are already working on increasing this speed to 800 km an hour. This one might be capable of leaving the Chuo bullet train in the dust from the looks of it. Number 2. Tvilinga the next one is not an actual rail project which is in the works, but just a concept design which deserves a mention. Designer Prathyush came with a truly unique idea which flips your perception of what a train should look like. Contrary to regular trains which rest on tracks, this unique model is secured on the side and levitated with supermagnets between the upper and lower decks. The train requires a one-of-a-kind column rail system which will support and elevate the double-decker train from the ground. These columns will also feature a wind turbine which will harness the wind energy created while the train is in motion. The innovative design also extends to the stations as well. The station will be tiled with specialized floors which will store the energy from the footsteps of the passengers who will be walking on it. The train will also allow people with bikes or skateboards to travel along with regular passengers but on different compartments. Sounds like a brilliant idea if they manage to get investors on board. Number 1. Mumbai to Dubai Underwater Train Travel Here's a project which seems like it just stepped out of a sci-fi novel. The Fushaira Mumbai Tunnel and Subsea Ultra Speed Train project is designed to connect the UAE and other GCC countries with India via an underwater railway line. The line will cover 1,826 km distance between the Mumbai and Fushaira station at an impressive speed of 1,000 km an hour and can be covered within two hours. Though this project is still in the concept stage, the plan is to have a floating underwater tunnel which will have two curved concrete tubes submerged beneath the Arabian Sea. The tubes will then be stabilized by a pontoon which will float on the surface of the sea or via vertical tethers attached to the sea bed. Tubes will be deep within the ocean in order to avoid any sea traffic and weather phenomena. The pontoon structures on the surface will be wide enough to allow ships to pass through without hindering any maritime transportation. If this project comes to fruition, it would be one of a kind and an impressive one at that. Do you think you're comfortable enough to travel beneath the sea on a train? With that, we come to the end of the 12 most impressive railway mega projects in the world. Which project impressed you the most? Do let us know in the comments and before you go, be sure to smash the like button, share and subscribe for more amazing content. Until next time.